Hello everyone, I've been making a lot of preachy YouTube videos lately and that's fun and that's cool and there's a time and place for that but I decided I wanted to take a break today and just talk about me, talk about myself, this YouTube channel so far and my like my journey so far too. I started making this channel three years ago, no editing, just me talking in front of a camera wherever I was on my phone and then just hard uploading and everything up to YouTube and it was just really messy and fun and just a really good way for me to like get started. A lot of that content is really hard to watch and listen to but I'm glad that I started. Three years ago I was really struggling with drugs and drinking and partying. Right when I started filming I was probably at the worst of my drug use and drinking. A lot of problems started to bubble up to the surface around that time too. Things have changed quite a bit, so that's kind of what this video is about, is where I was at that time when I started YouTube. So yeah, this video is basically just about what I was like when I started making this YouTube channel, what was happening in my life, and what's been going on in my life since then. I just knew what Three years ago, it was time for a change, but I wasn't quite ready yet. I started this channel just like making videos at dog parks and having fun and going on walks. A lot of the first videos I ever uploaded are actually pretty similar to some of like the shots in my videos today, which is funny. It kind of goes full circle because it's been a journey since then. Looking back, I had no idea what my life would come to. I had no idea I was going to be 100% clean from drugs and alcohol or that I would be in my hometown and actually enjoying that. I'll spare you most all of the details really, but the short version is that I, three years ago when I started this channel, I made some videos here. I was here for a while. And then I think in August of 2021, I decided very uh, impulsively to move to Brooklyn, New York. And I had no friends there and I didn't know anyone there. And I was also like, having a little drug problem that I was hoping I could control and I couldn't. So things got pretty scary there. It was a really cool experience, honestly, like I wouldn't change anything about it, but I mean, I was only there for a few months in New York before I had to put myself in, um, in rehab. <laughs> After that, I was there for like a little over a month. I got out on October 29th. I still remember the day I got out. I got out on October 29th, 2021 of this rehab in like the Massachusetts area. I don't know why I was there. I immediately took a job in San Diego, California. So I thought I was gonna start a new life there and something really unfortunate happened while I was there because my life was just kind of trending in that way, like this domino kind of way. I ended up taking like a same day flight back to my hometown. Um, I didn't know where else to go. I didn't have any money. I did have money at that time from crypto. Yeah, so I had some money from crypto, but I didn't know where I was going. I didn't have anybody. Oh my God, I'm just reflecting back on my on that time in my life and it was just like really interesting. <laughs> I just had a really hell-like experience here in St. Pete. Florida, my hometown, for a while after going to New York, going to rehab, going to San Diego for a couple of weeks, coming back home. I was pretty lost. I had turned like all of my possible potential. I was probably, how old was I? 23 when this all was going down, 23 years old. I'm 26 now. A lot of the videos I posted at that around that time were just really kind of explicit in some ways or personal. And since then, a lot of those videos on this channel are now private for my eyes only. But you know, after a very crappy, very shitty holiday season of 2021, I started to change. I started working, I started saving money, I started going back to school, all of these things that I did not want to do. <laughs> But I had to because life was going to shit for me the way that I was trying to live it, you know? I started taking music lessons. I started making new friends. I started returning back to my yoga practice that I had like a long time ago, 2019. I had gotten really away from like my body and being present with my body and myself and the world, honestly. Spending more time in nature and just like I realized at the bottom of the barrel looking up at, from this ditch. I was like, wow, I really 
need to do something different. Because when if you were to look back in 2021 at my first few videos, you could see that I was changing my mind a lot. Like I was just trying, I was moving, I was shaking, I was doing a lot of different things. I don't think that was a bad thing. I was trying to figure it out, but I needed to start completely over because I had just gotten so bad or I was just in such a self-destructive mode. I, I don't want to say I was bad, but some people probably would. <laughs> in the past two and a half, three years, I've worked my way up in a domestic violence nonprofit as a case manager and a domestic violence advocate. I've worked with teens at a teen respite shelter. I've started serving tables again. It's been a very humbling experience and something that I really needed to do. A lot of these jobs that I never wanted to have, I never wanted to work, I still don't really feel that inclined to work, but I have to, you know, that kind of thing. Those specific career choices have really helped me process a lot of stuff that was like in the subconscious of my brain that was going on too, without me really even going into those jobs knowing that. And over time, like I started making friends and enjoying my hobbies, enjoying life, like really being present with my emotions and my feelings. And even though it was really hard, it was really awesome. It's really been great. I remembered who I am. I remembered who I was. I remembered that like all of the partying and the chaos and the toxicity of my life before wasn't cool anymore, it wasn't fun anymore, and it wasn't getting me fucking anywhere at all. And I wanted more from my life. I think I've always wanted more from my life and I just wasn't taking the necessary actions to do anything about that. It's crazy to me that it's only been three years since I started this channel because my life has been so dramatically different since then. I was saying in the beginning that like, I've been making a lot of preachy videos, but it's because I've learned a lot in the past couple of years and I've wanted to impart some of my experiences with you guys. There have been a lot of times of darkness and anger and self-destruction that I brought onto myself that had to happen for me to change. I wasn't the kind of person that could be like, huh, I'm just gonna change now because it's gonna be good for me. My experience was that I really had to suffer and not be just, it took me a long time to learn my lesson, let's just say that. I had to suffer and bear with the consequences in order for me to see how necessary it was to change. I'm so glad to be back on YouTube, always trying to figure things out. I experienced like a good amount of peace and great times with my support system and in my life by myself now, which is really a huge plus. It's really good. I'm just like kind of happy right now, sorry. I'm just kind of like reflecting on how things used to be and how things have been going. It's been really awesome, so sorry. So I have a life that's worth living now, a life that's worth looking forward to. I have um, so little details here in my current life. I have a really loving boyfriend I've been with for a while, an amazing support system of friends that are that really care about me and I really care about them and I even keep in touch with my mom and my yeah so I've had a really great support system and I feel like I actually matter to other people or the world now and I probably never felt that way before. So I can try new things now. I'm in a position to like follow through on some of my goals and work on the projects that have always been like started but never finished or written on like a goals list and I can never do anything about them because I was just living in chaos. So good for me and good for you because you guys get to watch that change. And I hope that you guys will grow with me as well. And you know, most importantly, I don't feel so alone anymore. And I don't know if I ever was alone, but I definitely thought I was. For those of you that have been watching me since the beginning, I'm sure you guys have extreme whiplash. And for those of you that are just joining me at this 85 subscribers time, you'll want to stay tuned because there are some developments finally happening in my life. And I have a crazy story. I have a good story. I have a story of hope and change and redemption that's dramatic so stay tuned and um i just want to give you guys that update and i'll talk to you guys later